In this edition of our free software series, we'll be digging deeper to show you 10 lesser known free programs that just might be useful for you. Some of which were recommended by viewers in the comments in prior videos. All are available for Windows, with some available for Mac OS and Linux as well. Let's get started. We'll start with the basic program first. Sumatra PDF is a free and open source document viewer that supports many document formats, including PDF, EPUB, CHM, and many others. It's lightweight and extremely fast, making it a great alternative to Adobe Reader. The design is minimalistic with no clutter. One of the first things I do when buying a new appliance or vehicle is download the owner's manual. The files open quickly, and for PDFs with bookmarks, makes it a breeze, jumping to each category with ease. Sumatra PDF is only available for Windows, with portable versions, making it usable from an external USB drive with no installation required. In prior videos, many of you have asked how we were able to mirror an Android phone on our PC. We use a program called Screen Copy, which is abbreviated to SCRCPY. It's available on GitHub. To download it on their main page, over here on the right, go to the latest release, scroll down, and under Assets, for Windows, just simply download the zip file comparable to your computer, either the 32 or 64 bit. For Linux and Mac OS, if you're technically savvy, you'll have to compile the source code. On Windows, you will need to extract that zip folder you just downloaded. Using a single USB cord, plug it into both your phone and your PC. After plugging your phone into your computer, on your phone you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to allow USB debugging. Tap on Allow. On your computer, go into your folder for screen copy and double-click the executable because it does not install on your computer. Your phone will now appear on your screen. You can use your mouse to left-click and drag the sides and corners to resize it and move it around. You can also use your mouse, left-clicking and dragging to the various screens. And you can also open apps on your phone. The only downside is that there is no sound, but otherwise it works great. If you want to convert any of your files, you have many choices. The easiest I've used is simply named File Converter. It's free and open source, and at this time is only available for Windows. With just two or three clicks, it'll let you convert your audio, video, images, and documents into various file formats. File Converter is a shell extension, which means it's integrated into Windows using the context menu in File Explorer. Here's an example. Let's suppose you had JPEG images you wanted to convert to the WebP format. Select one or more of the images, right click, and look for File Converter. On Windows 11, you'll have to click on Show More Options to see it. They should have named Windows 11 the Windows Extra Click Edition. Hover your cursor over File Converter and select To WebP. And that's all there is to it. This will be a quick one. At various times over the years, we've recommended the free BitTorrent client, QBitTorrent. In the comments, many of you suggested we check out Transmission, which is also free and open source. Long story short, we were impressed. Those that commented were correct. It's not a resource hog, and the upload and download process went smoothly. We also found the interface for transmission to be more intuitive and polished than Qubit Torrent. But really, you can't go wrong with either one. Transmission is available for Windows, Mac OS, and the various distros for Linux and Unix. Another program we'll mention briefly is Revo Uninstaller. If you're a Windows user, this one is a must have. Normally, when you uninstall a program using Windows, it leaves additional files and registry remnants of that program behind. Revo Uninstaller, on the other hand, removes all files associated with the program you've uninstalled, helping to free up more space, clearing out useless junk no longer needed. Tree Size Free is a graphical disk usage analyzer, similar to other programs I've shown you before, like Winderstat, but with a cleaner user interface, making it easier to find out what is taking up space on your drives. Wherever you launch this, I recommend running this as an administrator to get the most accurate results. So right click on the program and select Run as Administrator. Next, select the drive you want to analyze. Click the small arrow next to, select Directory, and select your drive. For most of you, the C drive will be your primary operating system drive. And if you have a D drive, that'll often be for additional storage. 
In this case, I'll select the C drive and wait for it to finish. It'll show you in order the folders taking up the highest percentage of space. Clicking the arrows next to each folder will show you the subfolders and on and on. Going to the toolbar here at the top, clicking view gives you more choices. I like the tree map chart view. You can expand this out by left clicking on the left side of it and dragging it to the left. And we'll make this full screen. The remainder of these are more niche, so we'll go through these more quickly. Scribus is an alternative to Adobe InDesign. It's a free and open source publishing tool that works with most of the popular formats to create professional quality newsletters, brochures, posters, and so much more. Scribus is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. If you're a Windows user that thinks the default image viewer on the operating system is a horrendous piece of something that rhymes with quit, Image Glass is your savior. It's light on system resources and supports more than 80 file formats. Domain Name Speed Benchmark is for you geeks trying to get the best internet speed possible. Created by legendary software engineer and security researcher Steve Gibson, who's the host of the long-running podcast Security Now, this program will analyze the various DNS servers to find out what works best on your network. For my fellow programmers still using Visual Studio Code for Microsoft for web development, which by the way is no longer open source, it just may be time for you to switch. Brackets is a truly free and open source text editor for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux that has a cleaner user interface without all the telemetry and hidden source code. I recommend you try it out. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What lesser known free software do you use? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech related stuff here on Tech Umbo.